So this question says a circle in the xy plane has its or has its center at negative one one. Um, so I'm going to use plug in picture for this question. It describes a circle, so I'm going to just sketch out where I think everything is. So I have the point negative one, positive one. So I'm there. There's the center of my circle. Line T is tangent to this circle at the point 5, negative 4. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4. So I know that in order for it to be tangent, that means that there's actually a point here that's on the circumference of the circle. So my circle looks something like this. And that the line, that line T, like, touches right at that point somehow. So let's say something like that. Um, which of the following points also lies on line T? Interesting. Which of the following points also lies on line T? Well, I think maybe the visual of this is probably good enough to be able to tell, to be honest. Um, because the circle itself is not going to be... Oh, I know what they want me to do. So this is a radius here, and a radius, inter the point in which a radius intersects a tangent is always going to be 90 degrees. And whenever you have two lines that intersect that are 90 degrees, or, or intersect at a 90 degree angle, those, are, those lines are considered to be perpendicular. And the slope of two perpendicular lines are opposite reciprocal. Okay, so let's just kind of review that again. Radius intersect tangent equals 90 degrees, always. That'll always be the, the case. Um, perpendicular lines have opposite reciprocal slopes. So if I were to figure out the slope of this radius, which I can definitely do, then I would know the slope of the tangent line as well, which should help me to figure out additional points on this line, or I'd be able to test out my answer choices. But before I do that, I think I'm gonna start off with just the visual concept here. So if this is what I think, or roughly, because I know my circle isn't perfect, this is roughly where I think line T is, would it make sense that the point zero six fifths, where is zero six fifths? Zero six fifths is on the y-axis. Would it make sense that that point is also on line T? No, it doesn't. A is gone for that reason. Choice B. The point four, seven. So this is four, and then two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we're way up here. Would it make sense that line T touched four, seven? Actually, no, it would not either. I know that although my circle isn't perfect, I'm not that far off. Um, how about 10, two? So if this is, let's say this is six, and seven, eight, nine, 10. So this is 10 and two, um, maybe. I don't know, like it's in the right area. I think it's a little bit too far out, um, but could be. And then 11, one looks like it's too far out, but it is at least in the right area. Like if I'm off in my circle, like those two could be much more likely than A and B could be. So then I am either going to need to redraw my graph and really make sure I'm doing this properly. Of course, I can use uh, Desmos and try to get a circle here and kind of visualize it digitally as well. Um, but what I'm going to do here is to show, it's going to, figure out, it's going to be to figure out the actual slope between, of, or the slope of the radius, and then I'll figure out the slope of, of line T, and that'll help me to figure out the remaining point. So how do we find slope? So slope is found by taking the difference of y values divided by the difference of x values. So if I think of negative 1, 1 as, let me just clean this up a little bit. If I think of it as x, 1, and y, 1, and I think of 5, negative 4 as x, 2, and y, 2, then my slope would be negative 4 minus 1 over 5 minus negative.
negative 1, which would give me negative 4 minus 1 is negative 5. 5 minus negative 1 is positive 6, so my slope would be negative 5, 6. Now again, that means the slope of line t, which is perpendicular to my radius, must be positive 6 fifths. Okay, so that's important. So now with that understanding, if I know that I'm at this point here, at 5, negative 4, how would I get to the next point on my graph? Well, I, I rise, because slope again is rise over run. I'd rise 6 units, which gets me to positive 2. So I'd rise 6 units there. So I'm at 5, 2 now. And then I'd run 5 units, which takes me to 10, 2. Perfect. So it gets me right to answer choice C. Okay, so that shows that, you know, understanding this is extremely important um, to do, but have a feeling that maybe, you know, if you played around with Desmos, you'd figure out the best answer as well.